to, to be quite kind of honest with you, it's like, it's actually probably better for small businesses. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's cool that big brands like have the money to do big things and uh-huh. like, you know, scale it. But like I work with, uh, one of my friends owns, a an airbrush tanning salon here in Denver. Okay. I didn't, know, didn't even know what that was <laughs> until I met her. And she built out an SMS database and now it's about like 450 people. It's her and she has a two part-time employees. She har- she's like almost hardly ever there anymore. It's like these two employees that kind of run the whole show. And she built a list of like 450 customers, which is big for a small shop like that. And when she like on slow days, she uses SMS as a way to like fill appointments on slow days. So um, typically like Tuesday is a slow day for her. So she'll send out an offer to her list that says, Hey, you know, we have these three openings this afternoon, click this number and, you know, mention this, mention this offer code to get, Mm -hmm. you know, 10% off. Whereas like she would never have anyone even on those well, I guess they're, t- are they tables? I don't know. Standing, standing there to get airbrushed. <laughs> yeah. You know, there's no one booths. standing in. Yeah. There's no one standing there to get, to get tans. And now she sends out this message and literally within minutes, she has all of those appointments booked. So now her slowest day, the Tuesdays aren't even her slowest day. They're just as profitable as, uh, you know, any other day of the week. It- 